this video, I'm going to discuss what I wish I knew before starting law school. This is a compilation of things we have heard from our students over time. Also, I will share with you some of my personal regrets about what I wish I knew before starting law school. The first thing is that your first year grades matter the most. I do not say this to scare you. I say it because this is how it is. And it is better that you know ahead of time. A lot of students go into law school thinking that their first and second and third years are weighted equally or that the second and third years are more important because during their first year, they are just getting used to being in law school. So why would the first year matter the most? There are three reasons for this. First, at most law schools, first year courses are graded on a strict curve. This means that receiving an A in your first year of law school means a lot more than receiving an A in your second or third years of law school because not a lot of students receive A's in their first year of law school. In fact, many students receive B's or C's. Second, there are many opportunities that arise during the summer after your first year of law school or at the beginning of your second year. So to maximize these opportunities, it is best to perform as well as you can during your first year of law school. Third, if you perform well in your first year courses, you are more likely to pass the bar exam on your first try. This is because the bar exam, by and large, tests the subjects that are taught in first year law school courses. So putting the time and energy into doing well in your first year courses can pay off by increasing your professional opportunities and by increasing your chances of passing the bar exam the first time you take it. The second thing I wish I knew before starting law school is that in most law schools, the grades in law school courses are based on just one final exam. This is probably different from what you experienced in college, where you might have received feedback throughout the semester from different assignments, such as quizzes, midterms, and papers. But in most law schools, the only grade you receive in a course is from the final exam. Although that creates a lot of pressure on you to perform well on a single exam, the good news is that there are a lot of ways you can prepare for the exam ahead of time by outlining and by taking practice exams, both of which I will discuss in a moment. Check your syllabus to see if your grade is based on the final exam only because some professors have moved away from this practice and give midterm exams or offer other types of feedback throughout the semester. The next thing that I wish I knew before starting law school is to start creating outlines early. Many students regret not outlining early if they wait until the middle or the end of the semester to start creating their outlines. Starting to create your outlines late in the semester often makes students feel overwhelmed because they feel lost and do not know where to start. For this reason, we recommend that you start outlining early. In fact, I recommend that you begin outlining in the first week of law school and continue creating your outlines week by week. This way, as you organize the law and your outlines, you can begin to memorize it week by week. You are less likely to feel overwhelmed. You are less likely to feel lost and more likely to feel in control of the material you are learning. As a bonus, you can use your study period time at the end of the semester to actually study and not frantically create your outlines. Law schools often give students about two weeks at the end of the semester when students do not have class so they can study and prepare for their final exams. 
Ideally, by this time, you will have created your outlines so that you can spend this time memorizing them. Another thing I wish I knew before starting law school is to practice past exams. A lot of first year students do not understand the importance of practicing past exams. Often, the difference between an A student and a B student is that the A student will have practiced many past exams before the final exam. It is best to use your professor's actual past exams because that will show you how your professor likes to test the material. You can get used to the format of your professor's exams. And then, when you walk in on exam day, the exam won't seem as daunting because you will have already practiced a lot of those professor's exams ahead of time. For this reason, we highly recommend that you practice past exams. Note that this is not something you can begin doing during the first week of law school. You will need to wait a few weeks to give yourself enough time to get into the course material before you start practicing past exams because you simply won't know enough law in the first few weeks. However, this is something you should make a priority early on in your first semester of law school and every semester after that. The next thing I wish I knew before starting law school is that your classmates will be part of your professional network. The friends and acquaintances that you make in law school will also be part of your professional network after law school. I made some good friends when I was in law school, but I did not realize how important they would be to me after law school as a part of my professional network. So I recommend that you think about your classmates as part of your future professional network and make an effort to develop this network while you're in law school. The next thing I wish I knew before starting law school is the importance of time management and creating a study schedule. To help you feel less stressed and overwhelmed, it is a good idea to create a study schedule. A study schedule can help you to prioritize tasks to help you feel less overwhelmed throughout the semester. Additionally, keep in mind that there are some things that you don't need to rush to do as a first year law student. The first thing that you don't need to do is to get to know everyone in your class right away. You will get to know your classmates over time, and yes, you should prioritize growing your professional network and getting to know people. But that doesn't mean that you need to go out every single night drinking or partying trying to get to know everyone. In fact, we don't recommend going out every night because your first year of law school grades are too important. The next thing that you don't need to rush to do is to join several different clubs or get involved with every extracurricular activity. This does not mean that you should not join any groups or clubs. Instead, I recommend that first year law students join one club or one extracurricular activity. Within this one group, become involved in this group. Perhaps take on a leadership role and make yourself known within this group. But you don't need to join five different clubs and be involved in every available activity at your law school. Instead, you really want to focus on your classes and getting used to the law school environment. There will be opportunities for you to get involved with more groups during your second and third years of law school. Another thing you don't need to rush to do is to sign up for a bar exam review course. Some first year students feel pressured to sign up for a bar exam review course right away, thinking that they need to lock in their rate early. You don't need to do that as a first year student. You can wait until your second year or your third year of law school to sign up for a bar exam review course. That way, you will have time to research 
and think about which course you will want to use. The next thing you don't need to do is brief every single case you are assigned. Some students will brief literally every case they are assigned. And that's fine at the beginning of the semester when you are first getting used to law school and reading cases. But as a general rule, we recommend that students switch to book briefing soon after starting their first semester of law school. Instead of writing out a separate case brief for every single case you are assigned, we recommend that you learn to annotate your casebook and identify the facts, identify the rule, and identify the court's rationale and ruling right in your casebook using different color highlighters or pens if you like. This is the best way to focus on the words of the case and is also a great way to save time in law school. Another thing you don't need to do right away is join a study group. Many students like the idea of joining a study group and some of those students find it effective to be in a study group. In a study group, you can compare outlines, go over practice exams and problems, and make friends. A study group can help law school feel less isolating. However, some students do not learn well in study groups. I did not join a study group in law school because I enjoy studying on my own. If you are the kind of person who does not study well in a group or does not like being in groups, don't feel pressured to join a study group in law school. A study group can help you if you study better in a group. But Joining a study group won't help you if you study better on your own. Even if you know that you would benefit from a study group, it is a good idea to wait and learn a little more about your classmates to decide whom you want to study with. So you are not rushing into a commitment with a study group that is not a good fit for you. 